What's up guys? Jeffrey Winsen Reed here, aka Monomyth, and this is Trail Time Confessions, episode 10, and we are deep into the North Kettle Moraine Mammoth Tracks. And uh, I am hiking currently around Plymouth right now. Did a uh, solid 23 point something mile hike yesterday from Sunburst Ski Hill up to uh, Purnell Tower. Uh, did about 25 total miles, uh, but trail miles was just over 23. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, but uh, today, I think, uh, well, f first off, I haven't really been able to do any live videos because the reception has been kind of uh, spotty. So, um, so now that I've got uh, more than two bars, thought I'd uh, thought I'd do a live video and talk to you guys about the tale of the old trail hag. And if you're familiar with folklore, um, the old hag is the woman that comes to your bed in the middle of the night and she paralyzes you and torments you and there's nothing you can do about it. And so the reason I'm telling you guys that is I've experienced twice now, um, once on once last night and once on my uh, six six day trip and actually a couple times on the PCT but I didn't recognize it for what it was until today um, the only thing I can compare it to or describe is if you've ever um, looked at the description of how people describe the experience of being abducted by aliens that's what I went through in my tent last night. <laughs> and the feeling of this uh, sleep paralysis is daunting. It is extremely, um, it's scary. And I think, you know, it plays on everybody's big fears of going into the wild, going into nature. That, uh, you know, there's animals, bears and cougars and big animals that are gonna come take you away and eat you in the middle of the night which I think is uh is deeply embedded into our psyche you know as we were kids you know the little red riding hood and you know all these stories that we grew up with that uh just penetrate our minds and we live with and even though they we know now as adults that it is fake um there's just stories that uh, when sleep paralysis hits you, um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced that, but last night, uh, laying in my tent, and I think a lot of that had to do with my mileage last night, yesterday. Um, it was a good 12-hour day of hiking, 23 miles, which was a, a Wisconsin record for me, which I um, have to celebrate that win. On the PCT, uh, my best was a little over 30. Did that a couple times, had a lot of 28s. But um, my point here is that I was pretty tired. And my body was throbbing, my knees, my feet were um, pulsating. And I, I was laying in my tent as it was starting to get dark. And I uh, spent the night at Purnell Tower um, you know, after hiking, you know, 25 miles, I needed a place to crash. And unfortunately, uh, there's not a lot of places to sleep here on the, on the ice age. So, um, and it's hard to really plan around that. Um, I like having the ability to be flexible with my miles and where I'm going to sleep. And on the PCT or a lot of the other um, big trails, uh, you know, you, there's so many options for you to, 
to just crash, you know, and sleep on the side of the trail. So, so anyway, so I slept uh, right behind the bathroom <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to be out of, well, kind of hidden in plain sight. So, um, but there's a parking lot there and, and uh, I just wanted to be, you know, like I said, um, hidden in plain sight. So anyways, I was sleeping and I think part of, part of why the sleep paralysis um, has happened over the last uh, couple weeks, once, um, like I said, on my, when I left uh, on June 30th and last night again was uh, a lot of that had to do with my, my sleeping pad. So my sleeping pad is, is uh, I'm just trying to get some, some rationale for why I was paralyzed last night and couldn't move, couldn't speak. <laughs> Um, my sleeping pad has uh, been deflating in the middle of the night, so um, I'm woken up on the ground and having to blow it up like basically every hour. I, so I was going in and out of sleep pretty much the entire night, and I think, um, you know, just being going in, back and forth in between REM and, and dream state, uh, the, the visuals were very... Um, lucid. I, I felt like I was um, pinned to my, my sleeping pad and my limbs and, and even my, my just trying to talk, everything was completely um, felt weighted. It felt like I just was trying my hardest and best of my ability to, you know, knock the tent because I actually well, whether they were hallucinations or actual movement in the woods, which, you know, there's squirrels and deer and bears and other scary animals that, uh, <laughs> that come in the night. And it very well could have been something that was moving around my tent, but that's what I heard. And that's what either woke me up or maybe I was imagining it. I don't know, but my eyes were open and I was completely conscious of my surroundings and my my tent, but I couldn't freaking move. <laughs> Talk about, uh, you know, the scary situation. Um, I, I think what most people are fearful of is, is being attacked in their tent. And not going to lie, I mean, it has crossed my mind a couple times, but... You know, when you hike so many miles, you just kind of crash and you forget about those things. But when you wake up in a lucid dream and, and you're conscious, well, that's a whole different ball game because, you know, you're, you can see and hear, but you can't freaking move. And that was, uh, that was pretty scary last night. So, um, so I wanted to share that with you guys and, uh, just wanted to, you know, just describe my experience and, and, uh, I want to know if any of you have actually experienced any sleep paralysis or, um, woken up in the middle of the night and can't move or possibly have been ad abducted by aliens. <laughs> um, and, and, or what are your fears, uh, with hiking and what are your fears with, um, getting out in the woods and what do you think is stopping you from putting that, that foot forward and, and getting on the trail? Um, you know, is it a fear of getting attacked by an animal? Is it a fear of, um, you know, getting stuck out there and getting injured and not being able to, to get rescued? And I'm just curious. I'm just curious what, uh, what all of you are fearful of and if there's anything I can do to help you overcome that with my experiences out here. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, hopefully I'm not too crazy. <laughs> but uh, I know this uh, sleep paralysis is pretty common and I think, I, ha I mean, I have heard of people who, um, who have done long distance hiking and, and um, you know, ultra marathons and that have experienced hallucinations and I'm sure the uh, sleep paralysis is actually pretty common. So, so yeah, I'm gonna make a short video for you guys and that is the tale 
of the old trail hag. <laughs> and uh, till next time, this is Trail Time Confessions. Take care.